we be? Yeah, meet Jesus every day to walk with you. <coughs> if you trust and never doubt, Jesus, He will find you. Take up your cross and follow. You know, Jesus said that a man that wouldn't pick up his cross all right was worthy of it. Amen. Amen. Children, I woke up this morning. I haven't had money on my mind. But there's one thing that I always have on my mind, and that's Jesus Christ. When everything else fails in life, Jesus is always our force. You know, I look around the world right now that we live in. It's a scary place. Yeah. The unbeliever is a scary place. But all of these things are happening around the world. And Jesus said, when you see these things happen, he said, look up. Redemption draw I'm looking forward to the day when I see him coming after me. I'm looking forward to the day when I see him coming after me, children. Mm. And I believe that day is just around the corner. It is. I don't know what the Bible says. No man knows the day or the hour. No. Right. Only the Father in heaven knows. That's right. But Jesus did say, He said, when you see these things happen, He said, look up. Yep. Your redemption is all right. I'm thankful for the day that I've got a Savior. Yeah, buddy. That died for me. Yeah, buddy. I heard a song, the most beautiful song, I think one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. Talked about man had a dream. In the dream, he saw a soldier here's the side of Jesus. And yeah. The soldier was me. And that soldier was me. Yeah. Yeah. Children, and I, and I used to think, I used to think in my mind, uh, Pilot, he, he said, he said that he, he could re release a prisoner. And who would they have him released? And they said Barabbas. They cried out Barabbas. Release Barabbas. He was murdered. And I used to think long ago, I used to think, why in the world would have all these people call for the release of a murderer? Call him murderer. Mm -hmm. But they, 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 they seen, crucified an innocent man. <coughs> Children, here's the back of the ladder. I love Barabbas. I am Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Jesus died for Barabbas and he died for me. That's right. And he died for you. Yeah. And he died for everybody else. Mm -hmm. so there's one thing about it. If I never stand up and say anything else and I fall off the head and I proclaim the name of Jesus Christ, I'll be satisfied. Oh. That's the only name, the only thing I ever say, I just say Jesus. That's a, that's, that's a In the midnight thing. hour of my trouble, I cry out from my heart. On, and I cry out in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. He's there for you, children. Uh -huh. He's there for you today if you'd only call out for it. You know, if the Bible tells us we have to believe. But that's not all they are to it. No, the devils believe and tremble. The devils believe and they tremble. Yeah. The Bible says the saving the soul. So we, we must come to the Lord with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. I, I'm glad <coughs> one time I came to the Lord with a broken heart and a contrite yes, spirit. Yes, what did He do for me when I came yeah. to Him that way? That's when He answered my prayers. That's, That's right. when He saved my dying soul. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God today. I'm thankful. Yes, no. I'm thankful today, brother. We can't go on our I'm thankful that he answered my prayers. There was a time in my life that I thought that I went too far. Yes, sure. But God, he spoke up and he told me. He loved me. Amen. He loved me, children. Yep. The Bible tells us that all through there. And I hear Brother really John keep up with that scripture a while ago. And if I stand here and I proclaim the gospel, and I stand here before you and I proclaim the gospel, And I tell you all the things that 
It will make your ears listen and your eyes pay attention. But I don't love it. I'm nothing. Right. Nothing but the sound of a rusty gate. Yeah. Without Jesus Christ, I'm nothing. Yeah. Without Him, I'm nothing. Yeah. But the swinging of a rusty gate. Yeah. I can stand here all day long to it. Yeah. I can tell you anything. But I'm going to tell you about the love of the Lord. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. And that is the God. And I, I'm nothing but a man. I'm nothing but a man. Yeah. I pray you, the Lord will bless me. So I'll be able to preach this gospel this morning. Pray just a minute. And the Lord don't give me nothing. I'll get out of your way. He walks with me, children, every day. Sure, yeah. Sometimes I feel like he's distant. He's so far from me. Yeah. But he's always there. He's always there. Yeah. It's in the valley. It's where we grow the most. Amen. 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 It's in the valley where we grow the most. We can't stay up on top of the mountain all the time. Come on, guys. No. Look at him. But it's some of the best prayers that I've ever prayed down in that valley. <laughs> Some of the best prayers that I've ever prayed has been down in that valley. You sure you want to get out of it? I was just and there's some days I feel too far from me. Then there's other times when I come to church or, and you know the spirit touches me that I feel like I'm as bad to to heaven as I can be. And that's a wonderful feeling. Wouldn't it be wonderful to feel that all the time? It would. 
I like the way it's at the end of the bay because that's where we grow, it's down in the valley. Mm -hmm. When the Lord steps away for just a second, yeah, that's when we grow the most. In our Christian walk, children in my say, today I don't believe there's much time left, I don't. How much time will there be, I don't know. But I know one thing about it. Really? My old grandpa, he always told me, he said, when you draw your last breath, that's your end time. Where will you be today when you draw your last breath? Will you die in the Lord? Or will you die without him? Call out upon him, Lord. While you got a while you got a breath in your body. Cry out from the heart with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. The Lord be found with you. I believe that. And if you feel like you ain't saved, you get keep on praying. That's right. You know it. You know it. Because he will. Because he promised he would. Yeah. Some of the times that I found Florida the most has been when I felt so far from him. I remember one time I was driving down the road and I felt about as low as a man could feel. And I cried out to the Lord and I said, Lord, where are you? Have you left me, Lord? I said, show me a sign. Show me something that you're still with me. And that's how far I was from the Lord that I felt in my heart. Yeah. Come around the curve. Around the curve I came and there was a license plate. And on the back of that license plate it said, Jesus loves you. It said, Jesus loves you. There's no doubt in my mind. Sometimes we have to be willing to accept the simple things. And the simple things in life, and God speaks to the very creation. If you look around, if you listen. Sometimes I think we get ahead of ourselves. And I think we spend too much talking, time talking and talking to the Lord instead of listening to the Lord. Right, man. Big difference. Amen. When you call out to the Lord, sometimes if you just sit and listen, mm -hmm. you hear Him speak to your heart. Yeah. Listen to what He's telling you. There have been times that I have feelings. There have been times that I have feelings felt in the inside of myself. And I said, something's not right. Something's not right. If you listen to the Lord, He'll, he'll guide you and He'll lead you. And normally, if I didn't listen to that voice, normally I ended up in trouble. I ended up in trouble. But if I took heed to that voice, that loud still voice, I would have wound up in a good place. Right. And that's the way I believe that the Lord comes to you. With a loud still voice. If you're out there today, children, you don't know the Lord. I pray that you call out to today. They're joy in serving the Lord. I find it every day of my life. But God, when He when He saves us, don't make no mistake about it. When God saves you, that's when the devil's going to come and attack you the most. You'll have one good day where the Lord will bless you, and then another two or three days where Satan will come back and attack you. Jesus said, He that endureth until the end. He'll be saved. Amen. I believe that. Walk in the faith. The Apostle Paul told us to examine ourselves and see if we be the faith. Now, I don't stand up here trying to make nobody doubt their salvation. Don't you, don't you think that for a second. I'm going to tell you a man that examines himself on a daily basis and that's this one right here you're looking at. We have to examine ourselves. We have to examine ourselves, children. And don't think because the Lord saved you, saved you that you're perfect. You're not perfect. We're none perfect. Not in this flesh. As long as we walk in this, in these great clothes, we're not going to be perfect. There's no doubt about it. Now, you know, Peter, he... He had his eyes set upon Jesus. When he stood, he removed his eyes from Jesus and he began to sing. 
Now, if I were to take heed to that, the very second that you take your eyes off of Jesus, you'll start to sing. You'll start to sing. You know, when the Bible says, put on the full armor of God. <coughs> You walk through this life, there's one thing about it the Bible says that Satan, he's the accuser of the brethren. Yeah. Yeah. He's the accuser of the brethren. What did Jesus have to be speak to him? He said, get behind me, Satan. He quoted scripture to him. He said, if you be the Son of God, so turn these stones into bread. But he, he replied to Satan. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And he'll, he'll come to you. If, he, if he'll come and tip Jesus, he'll come and tip you too. Don't grow weak. Man. Don't grow weary. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes on Jesus. There's one or two places when you leave this world, you'll go. Yes. It's heaven or hell. I don't think we hear about hell enough. We got a bunch of so-called preachers today that'll stand in the pool bed and they'll, they'll tell you things to make you feel good or things to fill your pocketbook. I ain't here to do that today. They're about to tell you about Jesus and I'm here to tell you that if you don't have Him and you die without Him, that you end up in the lake of fire. Jesus said they be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Children, it's an awful place. I, I cried out from the pits of my soul. And I asked the Lord to save my soul because I know where I was going. And I was going to that awful place. But you don't have to do today. He died for you and He made a way for you. Call out to him. If you don't feel like you're saved, be home right. He won't feel you. God bless you, children. I love each and every one of you. <laughs>